you would never know that it is almost January 1st. Today is December 31st in Wisconsin. Very little amount of snow, which I'm not complaining. Um, and it's all dirty. <laughs> and it's on the sides of the roads. Um, I'm grateful, but this is great. Um, it is actually 27 degrees today. <laughs> on December 31st. <laughs> um, thank you. So I'm actually driving to Walmart to do a grocery pickup. And I'm feeling um, hesitant about it. I do need toilet paper, but um, I also feel like my mom offered. She was like, yeah, if you need me to pick it up, I can. And then when I asked her, she was like, well, can't you just ask them to put it in the trunk so then they're not exposed to you? And I was like, yes, but I'm feeling like <laughs> I just don't want anybody else to get sick. I don't want anybody else to get COVID, but I, I need the toilet paper. I mean, I ordered other things besides toilet paper. I don't want you to think that like I'm <laughs> shitting my brains out or anything. It's just that I was running low before and now I'm literally like gonna be out. So, um, I can't really wait. I got other items too. Um, I'm out of Gatorade <laughs> and I need to hydrate. That's, this is like just, I'm but anyway, I'm I'm just concerned about getting... I don't want anybody to get COVID from me. I don't want anybody to get COVID, period. But I don't want them to especially catch it from me. Um, just because I was that bitch who's like, Well, I need groceries. Well, I didn't think I was contaminated anymore. Like, it's fine. I'm going to wear a mask. Um, I... <laughs> I'm going to wear a mask. I should go into the office and grab some gloves, too. But... Um, I, do, I, I have to come back here tomorrow anyway to test. My boss wants me to rapid test tomorrow too, which is weird because I'm pretty sure it's going to be positive. But I mean, our tests have been, <laughs> you know, negative for no reason before. So there's ice fishing on the lake. It is frozen. So don't worry. I think. I just realized I'm kind of being a bitch. <laughs> Not <laughs> like I'm trying to be positive and I'm trying to have a good attitude, but then there's the crabby part that keeps coming out. Like I'm like, well, you should fucking get gas, but then you'd, then you'd contaminate someone. And so I'm just like, sorry about that. I'm hangry. No, I'm not. I'm not hungry. I don't feel anything when it comes to like hunger. And I think it's because I can't smell. I don't know. This makes no sense. I'm sorry. Here's the truth. I honestly think that the universe is testing me today to be like, we can either have a good day on the last day of the month and the year, or we can have a bad day. Um, I went to Walmart, got my groceries, was wearing my mask, Nick rolled the window down just like the smallest bit. This guy seemed like annoyed with me. The one item that I wanted, I'm not realizing I didn't need and it's okay. Anyway, it was out of stock. So he's like trying to talk to me and I'm like, dude, <laughs> COVID positive like please and I'm wearing my mask but like I just like roll the window down like that much which I I think he took his disrespect which I did not mean for it to be disrespectful honestly I'm trying to help you out dude <laughs> so um put everything in my trunk of my car took off you know no thank you no bye no nothing and like I felt like an asshole um, then I drove over by the office because I need a COVID test tomorrow and I thought maybe I'll do it today instead since I'm already in town. And there were um, three cars in the office parking spot. So I don't know what's going on. So I was like, well, I can't go in now. Um, 
and I was going to get gas, but I, I was going to go into the office to get gloves so that I could pump gas safely because I don't have any hand sanitizer on me for some reason, which I guess I'll, I will now. <laughs> But I just wanted to do a quick like grocery haul. But anyway, while I was like my purse completely dumped upside down, which is fine. I'm gonna take this as the universe being like, it's time to clean out some shit. Which like my mini my mini backpack like really doesn't have very much in it at all. Like <laughs> I mean, especially not now, but like I need to clean out all the receipts that I keep and use fetch to scan them in. I have like, this isn't used. I thought it was because it was like all balled up. Yeah, it's like a clean tissue. Not anymore because now I touched it, but I'm not going to throw that away. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick, quick little haul and I'm just going to like try and maybe I need to go back to bed or what, but like I feel really like low on energy right now and I'm tired and... Like, not, like, I'm not sleepy tired. I'm just, like, physically tired, even though I did nothing. So, um, I'd like to thank this med. These meds are working. I'm not opposite. But, like, I was feeling much better. I mean, like, I'm, it doesn't matter. Okay. Here's my <laughs> COVID-19 New Year's Eve haul. <laughs> Let's start with the big items first. I don't know about you, but one of the things, one of the many things that my ex taught me is that it is important to have the right toilet paper. And I have bought like the ripoff Walmart great value brand version of the Charmin Strong. And I've tried the super and the strong and the whatever. Um, it's not the same. And I know that's, that sounds silly, but, um, it just, it just doesn't. So Charmin Strong is my brand that I choose. <laughs> like I have my brand. Um, second big item, zero sugar, which I should probably have checked to see if this has aspartame in it. Anyways, I don't. Um, no, first ingredient is listed as water. Nice. So, um, I got these because I'm out of Gatorade after this morning. Um, honey wheat Sara Lee bread. Now, I, <laughs> um, quickly, I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, it's 12 grams of carbohydrates if you do total carbohydrates. If you have two slices, it's 25. So I've just been doing, um, meat and a slice of cheese and some pickles, some bread and butter pickles. So for my sandwiches, so that's done. Bread. Not really not bad for Sara Lee, but like they are thicker pieces of bread. Whereas like the low, 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 low carb ones, it's like a sliver of bread. <laughs> it's like, it's like a cracker. It's not. So. I'm trying to like group this so that it like makes sense, but it probably won't. Um, chicken broth, because eventually I'm gonna run out of boyan cubes, and it's always good to have one. Um, I was gonna get the reduced sodium one, but it was 33 cents more, which like I didn't understand. Because it was the same price. It doesn't matter. Um, ramen broth. I'm going to try this and see if it actually tastes like ramen. Because that would be phenomenal. Because that's all I want right now while I'm sick is ramen. And actually, I want a cup of noodles. The chicken veggie one. That's all I want. Anyway. Um, <laughs> just fantasizing. I'm trying to do this. So, once again, my favorite smoothie. They were out of the one that I love so much. Every time, you know? But I have this one. This one's good too. 
it doesn't matter. I just need my vitamin C, you know. So this coconut water to go with it for breakfast for this week. And And they, one of the traditions or one of the um, superstitions is that you have a full fridge and a full pantry full of goodies on New Year's Eve so that you're not in poverty for the new year. Um, <laughs> throughout the year, I guess. So, I don't know. Um, oh, and I already messed up on keeping them. So, for sandwiches, honey ham. These are super cheap and they're just so perfect. Um, sliced sharp cheddar. I really wanted um, Swiss, but I have Swiss in my fridge, so use what I've got. You know. Another coconut water because I needed another one. Honey because I'm running low out of my organic honey because I've been using it so much for my teas and to put on top of fruit and just because honey is great. Um, and it will help soothe my throat. So I got more. Um, speaking of soothing my throat or senses, I guess. My, um, explain to me why we spend like, I wanna say it's like $9. It's probably not that much. Um, for the shower steamers when there's an actual spray and this is guaranteed I think it's a 70 75 showers if you do um, Four to five sprays per shower four to five sprays during the shower you get 45 showers worth of spray um, So it's eucalyptus which will help like clean me out and also is a distress de-stressor so That's why koala bears are so chill um I didn't need this, but I got these. I just, just for a little New Year's, like, I was going to give people, my loved ones, like a little bag of um, hugs and kisses. These are the ones with almonds, so they're hugs. Um, I think. Isn't that what the story is? Maybe not. Um... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, teriyaki beef jerky. Do I have to explain myself? Like, um, it's gonna be a snack to go with my sandwiches for work. And then um, for tonight and for well, there's 14 strips, so it's not gonna be all tonight. Could you imagine? Um, I got some charcoal pour strips for your nose and face. Because I'm going to do some self-care tonight. Happy New Year. Um, and then, of course, I decided it's probably about time that I should throw away my mascara. Like, it's starting to get a little, you know. Um, so, I saw this, and I think it's new. I've never seen it before, and maybe I'm wrong, but um, Snap Scara by Maybelline. I don't know when I saw the picture of like how jet black the mascara looked. I was like, yes, please. It's going to make my blue eyes look gorgeous. I am so tired. <laughs> like physically, I'm just tired. I don't understand what's going on. Mail. I got a card from my Aunt Mary. She always sends the most beautiful cards. And this one is no exception. Look how pretty. I love her. Happy New Year, Jessica. This was meant to be a Christmas card. <laughs> but I didn't make it. Oh. She didn't have my current address, and she says, and I know you've come a long way since then. This, I love her so much. Oh, my God. Oh, I think there are birds. Yep. 
There's birds eating out of the feeder, and so Stella and Dex are entertained. Hi. Are there birds? Hello, Pooty. Hi, huh, Stella Lena. Are there birds? Do you see birds? <laughs> Stella keeps wanting to come up on my shoulder, and I keep telling her, like, you're not supposed to be this close to me, as she rubs her face <laughs> on mine. And uh, so now she's decided the lap will do, the lap will do, huh? My sweet Stella. My babies both know that I'm not feeling well and have been really lovey, and I think they've been enjoying the fact that <laughs> this is the most time I've ever spent with them. Ever. That's really sad, but yeah, that is really sad now that I think about it. Um, like this, yeah, this is the most I've ever spent with them because I always have to go to work <laughs> and have to leave and go do things. And the look on their faces this morning when I said, oh, I got to go, you know, I got to go. And they see me with my bag leaving. They both stared at me like, no, what? What? <laughs> what? Why, Mom? Why are you leaving? But then I came back and you guys were waiting for me. They always wait. She usually will run down and come come get me and bring me upstairs. And Dex does too. Um, but yeah, they usually will run downstairs to say Mom's back and then they'll come upstairs with me. Yeah. Every time I come home, it's honestly, that's what I've always wanted. <laughs> I always said I wanted a puppy to come home to every day and be so excited to see me. But I love that they do it too. I got my wish. I got my wishes. Mm, yeah. My overstimulant. Look at that dandruff, baby girl. I gotta put some coconut oil on you. Yeah, a pretty girl. <laughs> am I obsessed with my cats? Uh, yeah. Okay, I am burning sage because it's supposed to be like antibiotic and help cleanse the air. And I realize now I should wait until New Year to do it. Um, but I think I can smell it. <laughs> like... It's not, like, super strong in my nose. Like, I can't. But I think I can, like, finally start smelling. Like, I can smell sage. I don't know if it's because I'm, like, looking at it. Like, I'm also burning, burning Palo Santo. But I can. Like, I could smell it. Like, I got a few whiffs where I was like, oh, I can smell you. <laughs> like. And I mean, I'm telling you, I have Vicks Vapor Rub right there. I could not smell my Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh my goodness. Baby wants to be held. Um, whatever baby wants, baby gets. Um, I am just kind of shocked. Like I was blowing my nose and I could, like, I thought I could smell sage. Or maybe it's a Palo Santo, I don't know. I can't smell it now. It's so weird. Like, it just made me happy because I thought maybe my scent's coming back. <gasps> Wouldn't that be exciting? You okay? Mm. The poor babies. I really hope they don't get sick. That would be the worst. The worst. Right? You about to jump? The worst. <laughs> You're so long and lanky, my boo. Yeah. Why? I love you. You were so cuddly last night. I really appreciated it. It's probably because he heard me say, I cannot cuddle with you guys. You guys should not be around me. He was like, licking my cheeks and cuddling really closely and even this morning he didn't even wake me up he I woke up 
and he was still cuddled under my arm. Like, it just, oh, I, I love it. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for better kitties. I really could not have. They have been the biggest blessings of my new life. I'm telling you. He's just super cuddly and sweet and kind. And she is cuddly in her own way, in her own terms. Every time I'm sitting on the couch watching TV, one of them is somewhere right, you know, on my lap or near me. So, um, I can't, that sucks. I like, I had such a strong scent and I even was like burning it and right in front of me. So the smoke was coming like through my nostrils and I couldn't smell it. But like, I set it down on the coffee table and I'm like, like, I can smell, like, the faintest. I, it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to be upset that I can't fully smell it. I'm just happy that I can smell anything at all. Like, that makes me excited. Which reminds me, I need to go take my meds. Go take my uh, COVID medication and my regular medications. And my vitamin. Um... I'm not sure about my hair. <laughs> it might take me some time. And like, I don't know, is it just me? But like, I can see my roots right here. Like it didn't take or something. And I definitely put plenty there. Also, I was scratching my hair. <laughs> it's gross, but I was scratching my scalp this morning because I'm it's dry, I guess. And, um... I had some dandruff or I have leftover conditioner. It could be the conditioner because I did put a lot of conditioner in my hair last night. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it's conditioner. Um, But it was like orange under my nail, like that I had scratched it. And I went and I was like looking at it. I'm like, why is this orange? Like I haven't even eaten anything yet or drank anything yet. I mean, now in my smoothie, but anyway. Um... I don't know why things come out of my mouth. Anyway, um, and there was like, I looked at it and it was um, leftover conditioner that was like orange colored. So I might have to um, do another rinse here. <laughs> Happy New Year. Our family tradition of Chinese food on New Year's Eve. I've got my miso soup, some spring rolls, chicken egg rolls, and crab rangoon. And that's it. So I'll be all done with it. <laughs> Yum. Okay, so I've got the apartment clean up. <laughs> like, <coughs> wiped down on the counters, all my clean clothes away, bedding's put away, folded nicely. All my clothes, same. I rehung everything in my closet, up on hangers. Um, <laughs> like, everything is done. I scooped the litter box, um, refilled it with fresh litter. Oh, I need to scrub the toilet. That's what I need to do. Um, <laughs> I just need to scrub the inside, um, which I'm just waiting 10 minutes for the timer to go off. But... Then I'm done, I think. Then I'm done. Then I can just relax for a while. A, I'm not going to make it till midnight. I just, I can feel it in my bones. Happy New Year's Eve.